Volcanoes are one of nature's most powerful and awe-inspiring phenomena. They can create new land, destroy entire cities and even alter the Earth's climate. But how do these fiery giants really work? What forces drive their explosive eruptions and what happens beneath the surface? Today we'll dive deep into the science of volcanoes and uncover the secrets of their incredible power. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's start. One. What is a volcano? A volcano is essentially a vent in the Earth's crust that allows molten rock, gases and ash to escape from below the surface. This molten rock called magma originates in the Earth's mantle, a layer of semi-solid rock beneath the crust. When pressure builds up, magma rises through cracks in the crust, leading to an eruption. 2. The Anatomy of a Volcano Let's break down the key parts of a volcano. Magma chamber, a large pool of molten rock beneath the surface. Vent, the opening through which magma and gases escape. Crater, the bowl-shaped depression at the top of the volcano. Lava flow, stream of molten rock that pours out during an eruption. Each part plays a crucial role in how a volcano functions and erupts. How magma forms. Magma forms when rocks in the Earth's mantle melt due to extreme heat and pressure. This can happen in three main ways. Decompression. Melting. When tectonic plates move apart, pressure decreases, allowing rocks to melt. Flux melting. Water and other fluids lower the melting point of rocks, causing them to melt. Heat transfer. Hot magma from deeper in the earth rises and heats surrounding rocks, melting them. 4. Types of volcanoes. Not all volcanoes are the same. They come in different shapes and sizes depending on how they erupt. Shield volcanoes. Broad, gently sloping volcanoes formed by slow, steady lava flows. Stratovolcanoes. Tall, steep volcanoes built up by layers of lava, ash and rock. Cinder cone volcanoes. Small, steep-sided volcanoes formed by explosive eruptions of ash and cinders. 5. The eruption process. Volcanic eruptions occur when pressure from gases and magma builds up and overcomes the strength of the rocks above. Here's how it happens. Magma rises through the vent, carrying dissolved gases like water vapor, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. As the magma nears the surface, pressure decreases, causing gases to expand rapidly. If the pressure becomes too great, the volcano erupts releasing lava, ash and gases into the air. 6. Types of eruptions Eruptions can be broadly classified into two types. Effusive eruptions. These are relatively gentle, with lava flowing steadily from the vent. Explosive eruptions. These are violent, with magma and gases blasted high into the atmosphere. The type of eruption depends on the magma's composition and gas content. Thick, sticky magma tends to trap gases, leading to explosive eruptions, while runny magma allows gases to escape more easily, resulting in effusive eruptions. 7. Volcanic Hazards Volcanic eruptions can be incredibly destructive. Some of the most dangerous hazards include Lava flows, molten rock that can bury everything in its path, ash clouds, fine particles of rock and glass that can travel thousands of kilometers, disrupting air travel and causing respiratory problems. Pyroclastic flows, fast moving currents of hot gas and volcanic material that can incinerate everything in their path. Lahars, volcanic mud flows that can bury towns and destroy infrastructure. Eight. The role of volcanoes in Earth systems. Volcanoes play a vital role in shaping Earth systems, influencing everything from the atmosphere to the planet's surface. Despite their destructive power, 
Volcanoes play a vital role in shaping our planet. Land formation. Volcanic eruptions create new land, such as the Hawaiian Islands. Atmosphere regulation. Volcanoes release gases that contribute to the Earth's atmosphere and climate. Nutrient recycling. Volcanic ash enriches soil, making it fertile for agriculture. Ecosystem support. Unique ecosystems, like those around hydrothermal vents, thrive in volcanic environments. 9. Monitoring and predicting eruptions. While we can't prevent volcanic eruptions, we can monitor and predict them to save lives. Scientists use tools like seismographs to detect earthquakes caused by moving magma, gas sensors to measure changes in gas emissions, satellite imagery to track ground deformation and thermal activity. These tools help provide early warnings and reduce the impact of eruptions. Volcanoes are a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. They are both creators and destroyers, shaping the Earth in ways that are both beautiful and terrifying. By understanding how they work, we can better appreciate their power and prepare for their dangers. If you enjoyed this journey into the fiery world of volcanoes, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating explorations of Earth's wonders. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and remember, the Earth is alive and its volcanoes are proof. See you in the next video.